So a lot of you may have trouble killing tanks since the last update, so I'm going to show you which part of the tank to hit for each tank. I'm going to be using a tank myself here, but the same will apply for infantry anti-tank gadgets and AT rifles. So this video will focus on which part of the tank to hit to yield the maximum damage, but there are also other considerations like destroying parts even when they may not deal the most damage. But that will be very situational and this is not going to be the focus of this video. Anyway, let's get started with the first one. I will begin with light tanks like the Panzer 38T, Stackhound, the LVT, or the Type 2 Kami. I'm only going to be using the 38T as an example, but the same will apply to all the other tanks. And from the front, hitting a turret will do the least damage, followed by the front, and then the tracks from the front. This will give the side damage multiplier and will give the most damage when they are facing you directly. And now on the side, it deals more damage if you hit the side panel directly than if you were to aim at the turret. And now from the rear, it also deals a maximum damage of 32 with the additional engine disable bonus. Hitting the turret is just not worth it. Now when it is angled, hitting the turret will let you deal more damage than hitting the side panels because the critical angle is quite narrow and you end up doing even less than hitting the turret. Okay, moving on to medium tanks. Let's focus on the ones with the turret like the Panzer IV, the Type 97, the Valentine Mark VIII, and the Sherman. From the front, once again, it is the same as the light tanks but with even bigger differences between parts. What you want to do is to aim at the tracks. If it is a difficult situation, then the front armor will do. The turret will be your last priority unless you can time it right before your enemy fires to mess up his view in the first person mode. Now on the side, it is also the same as light tanks where you want to prioritize the side armor, preferably the tracks over the turret for maximum damage and track disable. Then the back. Hitting the engine compartment will also be better than the tracks and the turret. That's really a no-brainer unless you just want to toy with your opponent. And when it's angled, hitting the turret is a safe location that will not give you any additional damage unlike the light tanks. Basically, the turret meta only exists for light tanks when they are angled. Otherwise, it is now pretty much equal or worse for all other tanks and all other situations. Next up is a Valentine Archer. This one is a bit different from the Valentine Mark VIII, so it deserves a bit of its own time. Let's start with its in-game front or the historic rear. And in terms of the damage, it is actually almost the same as looking at the Valentine Mark VIII from the rear. The engine compartment will be a no-brainer. The mantlet is the worst since it is one of the most protected parts in all the tanks in the game. And the side will be the same. Hitting the mantlet will give you a terrible damage, so you want to aim lower for the side armor or the tracks for maximum damage. Then the in-game rear or historic front. Hitting the mantlet will deal more damage than the other side, but still not ideal. The best will be to hit the tracks for most damage. If it is angled, hit anything but the mantlet. Of course, if it has the engine facing you, then try to hit that will be preferable since it has a much wider critical angle for you to try to hit. Now, it is time for another special medium tank, the Stuk 4. The front of the tank is very well protected. There is actually no critical hit angle available like the heavy tanks in the game. What you want to do is to hit its tracks which deals a much higher damage. On the side, you can pretty much hit anywhere and so deal the same damage. And from the rear, you can also pretty much hit anywhere other than the tracks to deal the most damage. Hitting the tracks actually decreases the damage since it is counted as side armor. If it is angled, then you are out of luck. Just hit an area of the most perpendicular angle and hope for the best. Or you can try to hit its tracks to damage its parts just to piss them off. Alright, moving on to heavy tanks. Let's start with the Churchill Mark 7. Overall, this is pretty much the same as the medium tanks like the Panzer IV. From the front, you want to hit its tracks. If you can't, then the front. Then the turrets, if that's the only thing you can see. Then on the side, you want to aim at the side panel and the tracks over the turrets. And from the back, you want to hit the engine as usual. Really nothing new here. When it is angled, 
Hitting the turret will probably give you more consistency unless you want to destroy parts, then go right ahead and aim for those tracks. Now its cousin is a Churchill gun carrier, and it is a little different, so let's take a look at that. The front will be the same deal as usual, just go for those track disables. And the case mate, and by that I don't mean the smartphone case brand, and that's really not the best place to hit. For the side, it is sort of like the Valentine Archer, you want to just aim for the side armor or the tracks. And the rear will be the same deal as every other tank, just hit the engine. If it is angled, the same idea will apply, just hit the area with the flat to surface, preferably the body of the tank rather than the casemate. Okay, I bet you're bored as hell by now since it is all the same, but let's just do one last one. This will be a bit different and it's the legendary Tiger 1. So from the front, there are actually 4 areas you can hit, the mantlet in the front of the turret, the turret itself, the front armor, and the tracks and those will be the reverse order of what you want to go for. What you want to do is to really avoid the mantlets. The side will follow the same rule as before, go for the side armor or the tracks. The rear is also the same as before, go for the engines. And if it is angled, then just hit the turrets or the most perpendicular side, not rocket science here. Just don't hit the mantlets, which is usually what I see a lot of people do when the enemy tiger is looking at you. Now, just a few quick tips here to optimize your angle. First one, if the tank is angled, you can think about hitting the far side of the tracks so if it backs up, it may turn the front towards you for the sweet follow up critical side shots on the tracks. Then, next two will be examples of seeing a tank on the side, I would recommend you to hit the side closer to you because that will give you a better angle than hitting the side further away from you. As you can see, that's where the critical angle cuts off, and you end up with a normal hit, which would be really unfortunate. Then one last thing, if you're using the hash round, then you don't really have to worry about any of these. Just hit the tank. You will roughly do the same damage anywhere you hit. Anyway, that's it for this video. I know a lot of you asked for it, so I hope you find this helpful. If you don't like this, feel free to hit the thumbs down, but if you enjoyed this, Thumbs up and subscribe are always highly appreciated. I hope you all have a tank-tastic day, and I will see you again soon.